Hello, 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 YouTube. It's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another DVD and Blu-ray update. Yes, I have some stuff to show, finally. Uh, I'm going to make this quick because I don't want it to take 30 minutes. So uh, I only got one Blu-ray and a couple of DVDs. I got at dollar stores and for, you know, other places like thrift shops and such. This is the first Blu-ray I got. What Maisie Knew. This is a uh, drama with uh, Julianne Moore and this little girl named uh, Onada April. You also have Ale Alexander Skarsgård, Joanna Vanderham, and Steve Coogan. It's from 2012, and uh, I want to see it because, uh, you know, not this month because, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take a break from drama since Endgame had a lot of drama, and I'm going to be talking about that with my friends this weekend. But this looks interesting. It's only 90-something minutes, so it's 98 minutes, under two hours. Next, I got uh, th this uh, DVD at a dollar at the uh, library. It was brand new. Considered one of the greatest sports comedies of all time. Caddyshack, the original Caddyshack. Yeah, I want to see this film. I've never seen it, so it's only about 99 minutes long. All these movies are under two hours, most of them. And some of them I've seen already, so I'll just uh, to give you my thoughts. This, I heard, it has a great cast. Uh, you know, Bill Murray, Chevy Chase, and the late great, uh, G uh, what's his face, uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Dangerfield. And, uh, yeah, it's an R-rated comedy, and I want to give it a chance. So, finally see Caddyshack sometime this month. This one I liked. I know this is a very underrated comedy. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, one of Chevy Chase's uh, overlooked films. I like uh, what Jack Palance. I think the cast is mostly solid. And that's the movie Cops and Robertson. I like this movie. For what it was, it made me laugh. I like the cast. I think it's a really underrated film. Uh, Michael Ritchie directed it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a PG movie, so they don't make PG comedies anymore unless they're for kids. And it's pretty underrated. Like, I think it's, uh, you know, it's well casted. This is Robert Dobby's in it as well. Diane Weiss from Lost Boys. It's not as bad as other movies. 93 minutes. So... Yeah, it's a fun little movie. I liked it for what it was. Next, I got this. Uh, I got. I got. A, I rebought this movie because I had it on DVD, but it was scratched. I got this for the collection. I could see this in October. Monster House. Yeah, I got the widescreen version. I finally rebought it because uh, I hadn't seen this movie in a long time, and the DVD I had was scratched. This is the widescreen version of it now. It's a very very funny movie. I think uh, the animation it was robbed of an Oscar. And it, it lost to Happy Feet. Uh, at the Oscars for 2006, it, it was that Cars and, and Happy Feet, and I'm like, I think this is better. This is this uh, motion capture was really well done. The cast is really bet is much better. It's not a musical, and uh, it's shorter. It's only 91 minutes. I saw this in the theater, and it was pretty fun, and it's underrated too. I think you know because you know it didn't win an Oscar. It should have won. And uh, who directed this? Uh, Gil Kennan. Yeah, I've never heard of him, but he did a good job with that. Next is a two-disc film I got at Dollar Tree. It's got a really good cast for the most part, and it's called Ain't Them Body Saints with Ben Foster, Rooney Mara, who I'm not really the biggest fan of. I like her sister better, but she's kind of attractive, I guess, if it depends on your point of view, and Casey Affleck. I don't care about the freaking, uh, the Weinstein, you know, sexual harassment bullshit that happened in 2017. This guy's a good actor. I don't care about the past. I mean, he's not a Kevin Spacey. He's not Weinstein. He's not Bill Cosby. I think he's a good actor. And he won an Oscar, too. So I'm going to give this a chance. 96 minutes long. See, I, I, do I know how to pick him or what? To this, it's like a, like a, a Western drama. I've heard really good things about it uh, on IMDb and... It's got a making of documentary and behind the scenes. So, directed by, uh, directed, not directed, directed by David Lowry and IFC Films. And those people know how to make good independent work. So, if you never heard of it, it's because it's an independent movie. Next, I got this one for a dollar at Dollar Tree. It's got a good cast. You have Experimenter with uh, Winona Ryder, who's always been a beautiful actress, Peter Sarsgaard, different from Alexander Sarsgaard. And, uh, this is another drama. This is from 2015, 98 minutes long. See, these are all under two hours, except for two of the films that I got here from in the 90s. Uh, it's uh, a film I never heard of. It also has Kalen Lutz, 
Ugh. Dennis Haysbur, uh, Danny A. Abacasser, Taryn Manning, Anton Yelchin, may he rest in peace, and the always fun to watch John Leguizamo. Yeah, this is when he did a bunch of drama stuff. He can also act, because I've seen him act in dramatic stuff. He was in John Wick, the first one, so, and he's good in that, so. Next, I got this. I didn't know it was a romantic comedy. I thought it was a drama. It's got two actors that we just recently saw in the MCU, one from Captain Marvel, the other from Endgame. They're two Oscar-nominated actors, so that's always a good sign. It's not Brie Larson, because all you haters, I'm going to keep that on my wall forever, because I loved Brie Larson in that movie, and I'm going to get the Blu-ray in June, so they can suck on that. And even though Endgame, she's not in it that much, she did her job. This is The American President, with Michael Douglas and Annette Bening, who played Marvell. People were so pissed at her for being in this movie, but I'm like... She's a good actress, guys. She's only in it for five minutes, and she's not... Oh, she's not a man. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Considering the, the, the men that have been in the CW shows that were not really women, yeah, I can take her any day. You also have Samantha Mathis. I love her. David Paymer, Martin Sheen, directed by Rob Reiner. So I'm looking forward to this. I've heard great things. And these are really two really good actors that have made the MCU... But add some quality to the MCU besides the actors that we are used to from the Avengers. This is another movie with Michael Douglas I got. This was the longest movie I have. It's two hours and nine minutes. Disclosure with the always gorgeous Demi Moore. I love looking at her. She's always been a beautiful woman to me. Fantastic sexy thriller massively done. Directed by Barry Levinson. And uh, Michael Crichton produced it. May he rest in peace. He uh, wrote Jurassic Park. Uh, yeah, this also has to do with sexual harassment, but it's a movie, guys, not real. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's it's got really good actors in it. You also have Donald Sutherland in it, Dennis Miller, and Caroline Goodall. I'm looking forward to seeing this, but like I said, the dramatic stuff I want to see in June, because I saw a lot of drama in April and in, in March and, you know, May. So far, it's mostly been just, you know, a lot of work. But, yeah, this I heard good things about this. I'm on a roll. Two movies with Michael Douglas from the 90s. And last but not least, I got this trilogy. I've seen the third one, and I was not a fan of it, except for Sandra McCoy, because she is absolutely gorgeous. The Wild Things trilogy. All three films. I have the fourth one separate. The, the first one has uh, Neve Campbell and Denise Richards. That's always a plus for me as a man. And it has uh, Robert Wagner and, and, uh, and uh, Matt Dillon. The second one has... Uh, Lee, uh, what's her face? Uh, Susan Ward and Leela Arsiri, who are also beautiful women. We Let's face it, guys watch this movie for the women. That's why they go Wild Things. We don't watch it for the guys. We watch it for the women. And uh, the first Wild Things is 115 minutes. So it's under two hours, but pretty long. The second one's 95 minutes, and the third one's 87. So all three discs stacked together. And uh, I've never seen the first two, so I'm going to watch them this su uh, summer, hopefully. And that's all I got, guys. Nice little stack. Tell me what you think about these movies. If you've seen them, leave your comments in the comment section. Don't be an asshole because I'm like, I'm tired of the negativity on YouTube and Facebook. People need to just lighten up. We got a freaking masterpiece of a film last week that's dominating. That something that episode nine won't do. But I'm not going to get into that because Peter Mayhew just passed away. I want to respect Star Wars for what it was. And But I'm going to watch some of these films for the rest of spring and the summer. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in another review, hopefully tomorrow. Later.